Hello, my name is Ms. Fisher, and I'm one of your other vice principals. I believe Mr. Taylor finished his part of the presentation on the following slide. And you were given some time in the class to discuss your thoughts and your feelings on the following subject. What does a caring, safe, and inclusive learning environment looks like, feels like, and sounds like at Westmount Collegiate? We are now going to talk about discrimination and racism. The definitions for discrimination and racism is posted on the following slide, and I will give you a minute to read through it. Both racism and discrimination can take the following ways. It could be about using a slur or a derogatory comment, telling a joke that makes fun of someone's identity, writing a hurtful symbol associated with hate, excluding someone based on their identity. And it can happen both in person and online. To let you know, these definitions have been adapted from the YADSB Equity Action Plan on Racism. And it has also been adapted from Canadian Race Relation Foundation. Any form of hate, racism, and discrimination will not be tolerated. Here are some examples of discrimination and racism that will not be accepted. There are also possibilities of microaggression. So what is microaggression? It is defined as small actions or words that show unkindness towards an oppressed or targeted group. Microaggression falls under microinsults, under microinvalidation, microassaults, and of course, an environmental microaggression. Environmental microaggression is about only reading books or displaying videos, information that center people from the dominant group. It is really about emitting different voices in school presentations and assignments. Micro insults are failing to learn or continue to mispronounce the names of your teacher's fellow classmates. It is about working with others of one gender, class, or race while ignoring other students in the class. Microinvalidation is about denying racism, sexism, homophobia, assuming someone's gender, or telling someone to overcome their problems, adversity, if they work hard enough. Microinsults refers to slurs of other oppressive language. The YIDSB has a protocol for addressing all incidents of hate or discrimination, and its staff expectations for students' incidents are displayed on the following slide. When a staff member or a student witnesses an incident of discrimination or hate, they may report it to their teacher administrator, or they may also use a reported tool found on the YIDSB website. The reported tool is used anonymously and you do not have to identify your name or your GAPS account. When reporting an incident, you need to name the behavior. We, on the other hand, will document the behavior, investigate, and we will work to support it, all the students and employees to ensure that we have a safe and inclusive working and learning environment. And now a word from our board director, Luis Cerisco.